here's how you can regenerate health for free. And here's how you can defeat any enemy with ease. And here are five things you need to know about The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. The best way to get around in Echoes of Wisdom is by using waypoints. But I think we already know that. But when there's an area in between two waypoints, you still have to walk, which is very slow. So, in order to run faster, you can spin using R on your controller. If you do this repeatedly, you can go significantly faster. Defeating enemies for Zelda is quite a bit tougher of a task than it is for Link. But by throwing a fiery item, like an Ignazol, for example, and then attacking your enemy can make it a lot easier, as they're already taking constant damage. Health is a huge problem in Echoes of Wisdom. You either have to pay rupees for a drink, or just waste helpful ingredients that, res that restore a measly quarter heart. But there is a much easier way to do this, and that is by first using the bed echo, and then rest, wait a second, get up, and repeat until you're healed enough. If you're confused on what to do next in a quest, you should check the adventure log or talk to an NPC nearby one of the, loca one of the marked locations on your map. By doing either of these things, you will get a useful hint on what to do. The final important tip in The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is to explore. You would be surprised at how many things you can find in the massive world of Hyrule, especially in old areas. Now I'm going to show you some examples of how I use these tips in my playthrough. Boom! Okay, nice. Nice thing about bomb fishes, unfortunately it doesn't work on water enemies. Like, it doesn't set them on fire and stuff. But that is, that's a really nice way of doing that. Okay, let me... Oh, oh my gosh. So here, I want... I need to get over to, uh... To here, to the... To the Lord Jabba Jabba's den. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna warp over there real quick. However, there's a slight issue. There's no warp point to Lord Jabba Jabba's den. So... We gotta run. But the problem with running... It's slow. So, I can spin, boom, speed boost, easy. Super nice and easy. Absolutely love this. Like, look at that, man. Boom, I'm already here. Did not take that long at all. You know, I'm getting a little bit low here on health. So, rest, regenerate, get up. Rest, rest, regenerate, rest, regenerate, rest, regenerate, 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 and boom. Back to full health for completely free. Okay, so he wants me to move those rocks, it seems, over here on this island. Let me get over here real quick. There we are. Okay. So he wants me to move these rocks. Like, how? Guess I'll just talk to him. M meh. He'd be a better idea to look for another way inside. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So instead of trying to move the rocks, I can find another way in. Ha! Well, there we go. Now I can progress in the story because I talked to those NPCs to figure out a solution. Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, nice. That's why you always be careful to look for stuff. Now I got 10 bubble kelp. Each one worth 25 rupees. That's just like 200 rupees right there. So I gotta explore, guys. Always explore. And now I've made it inside. Now it's time for a bonus tip. Always wanna make, all, whenever you're stuck on a puzzle, Always test things, like doing that, or using an item from far away by holding down Y. So I can use bind here. Boom, moved it out of the way, they're free. Boom, it's that easy. And now these people are officially rescued from the cave. Well, that's just about all there is. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more like it. Goodbye!